Champagne is often considered an extravagant and luxurious drink, frequently enjoyed by A-list celebrities and used as a status symbol. While it's easy to purchase a bottle of champagne for less than $10, many people believe that spending over $100 per bottle is necessary to enjoy a high-quality taste. Some champagne bottles are so rare that they can only be purchased through special orders or in upscale clubs, and many of them have retail values that reach the tens of thousands of dollars. In fact, there are 10 champagnes in the world that are particularly expensive. In this video, we'll explore the 10 most expensive champagnes in the world. Make sure to subscribe, and welcome back to the Wealth HQ. Let's get started. Number 10 on our list is the Shipwreck Champagne, which has an average price of $14,181.81 per bottle. In 2012, a case of 11 bottles sold at auction for $156,000. This particular champagne was discovered in the sea by a group of divers in 2010. The bottles had aged in the deep sea for over 200 years, which enhanced their flavor and refinement. Researchers discovered that the champagne bottles contained higher levels of sodium chloride, iron, and copper than champagnes produced today, which explains the grilled, smoky, leathery, and spicy flavors that wine tasters have detected. Number 9 is the Louis Roterer Cristal Brut 1990 Millennium Cuvée Methuselah, which costs $18,800 per bottle. Its price is due to its sheer size, which is 6 liters, equivalent to 8 standard bottles. In addition to its size, the price of this champagne is high due to its scarcity, as only 2,000 bottles were ever made. It has a silky texture, fruity scent, and a strong mineral quality with notes of white fruit and citrus. Number 8 is the 1928 Krug, which costs $21,200 per bottle. When this bottle was auctioned in 2009, a world record was broken. This champagne was reportedly a favorite of King George VI, which added to its commercial value. The 1928 Krug has aged exceedingly well and is claimed to have developed notes of peach and honey. It was in fantastic shape, considering its age, but it's unlikely that anyone would actually open something so expensive and rare just to take a sip. Number 7 is the 1841 Veuve Clicquot, which costs $34,000 per bottle. Like the shipwrecked champagne, Three bottles of the 1841 Veuve Clicquot were recovered from the wreckage of a ship in the Baltic Sea by a Swedish team. One of the bottles was swiftly sold at auction for $34,000, making it the most expensive champagne produced by the illustrious company. The proceeds from the sale of the bottle were donated to a number of organizations that support marine archaeology, maritime history, and the environment around the Baltic Sea. Number 6 is the 1959 Dom Perignon, which costs $42,350 per bottle. The manufacturer of this wine, which was a limited edition batch, halted production at 306 bottles. The Iranian Shah also placed an order for some bottles in 1971 to mark the 2500th anniversary of the Persian Empire's founding. Although two bottles were brought to auction by Acker Merrill and Condit, this 1959 Dom Perignon was never officially sold. If these bottles have not been drunk in the more than 10 years since then, they may turn up again one day with a much higher price tag. Number 5 on our list is the 1820 Hugular Cuvée, which costs a whopping $43,500. This is the third bottle that was retrieved from the Baltic Sea wreckage. Not only is it extremely rare, but it also has a fascinating backstory. The House of Hugular hasn't been around since the 1840s, so when the champagne was found on the sinking ship, it was realized that it was really old. The 1820 Hugular Cuvée emerged covered in barnacles after spending so much time at the ocean's bottom. However, because the bottle wasn't damaged and the drink was still inside, it was eventually sold at auction for a high price. At number 4, we have the 1996 Dom Perignon Rose Gold Methuselah, which costs $49,000. Although it's not very old, this Methuselah-sized bottle of Dom Perignon Rose Champagne is enormous and has a rose gold-plated metal casing. It's one of the rarest bottles in existence, with only 35 ever produced, making it very scarce. This vintage rose has smoky, peaty undertones with malty flavors on the nose. After only two sips, the wine is supposed to have a powerful crisp flavor with overtones of vanilla and spice. However, it's expensive, but it's a dom after all, and doms are never cheap. Coming in at number 3 is the 2011 Armand de Brignac 15-liter bottle, which costs $90,000. This champagne is marketed in opaque metal bottles and is manufactured in a multi-vintage style. Champagne Kadir produces the Armand de Brignac brand, which is rather attractive and is ideal for high-end events with many guests. The French pewter ace of spades labels on the brand's bottle make them easy to recognize. At number 2 is the 2013 Armand de Brignac Rose 30-liter Midas, which costs a whopping $275,000. This is the biggest and most expensive bottle yet, and it weighs 100 pounds. 
The effervescent champagne creates an outstanding flavor by combining still Pinot Noir with some sparkling white wine. This pricey champagne is stamped with the brand's logo and has a rose-hued bottle. Although I haven't tasted it, I'm sure it's impressive. Finally, the most expensive champagne on our list is the 2013 Taste of Diamonds, which costs an astonishing $2.07 million. The bottle features a diamond-shaped label made of pure white gold, with a sizable Swarovski crystal in its center. It's often referred to as Gota de Mons and received a score of 5 out of 5 from tasters because it tastes exactly like it looks, like sparkling stars and diamonds. The idea for this sumptuous bottle was conceived by Shami Shin, owner of the upscale Prodigy brands in London, and its one-of-a-kind bottle was created by Alexander Amosu. It's the world's most costly single bottle of champagne, and it's rumored that a knockoff of this wine can be purchased for only $211. What do you think of these expensive champagnes? Let us know in the comments below. Also, please subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. This has been The Wealth HQ, cheers!